Good afternoon. Today, uh, I'm bringing for you forms of resistance to colonialism in Taib Saleh's season of migration to the north. Introduction. Not all resistance during the early years of European colonial rule took the form of pragmatic violence. The conditions that led people to resist colonial rule often emerged from long-standing grievances against colonial labor exploitation, taxation, racism, etc. Colonizers practiced and exploited people, controlled the colonized people and their lands. African resistance during the war took many different forms in the quest to thwart the unprecedented scope of colonial demands. But in season of migration to the north, we find a different form of resistance. He hunts women as a form of resistance. Now let's go to the next slide to know more about who is he. Well, let's see Taib Saleh's season of migration to the north. Taib Saleh's season of migration to the north explores the evils of colonialism and has been interpreted as unique mode of engaging with Western culture and as the counter narrative of post-colonial discourse. Published in 1966, Taib Saleh's season of migration to the north includes post-colonial suffering in Sudan and exposes the psychological pain the colonized experience in their daily life and their attempts to avenge their sufferings. Season of migration to the north tells the story of Mustafa Sa'id, a genius from Sudan who goes to study first in Cairo and then in London, where he hunts women as a form of resistance. Mustafa the Orient was born in 1898 when a British general, Kitchener, defeated the army of Abdullah al Tashi in the Battle of Omdurman in order to conquer Sudan. In Orientalism by Edward Said, he says, the colonialist, by portraying the East as culturally and intellectually inferior, the West was simultaneously able to construct an image of Western superiority. This binary opposition of East and West were further reinforced by imperial power relations which enabled the West to justify their process of colonization as a civilizing mission. So in this novel, there are two groups of victims of colonialism. First is the Sudanese students who are directly exposed to the Western cultural hegemony during their education and the second group consists of the four British women whose tragic lives are influenced by the imperial and colonial policies. Uh, Tayyip Salih's uh, season of migration to the north is a quest for self-identity, just like Conrad's Heart of Darkness. It portrays Mustafa Said, a Marlowe-like narrator whose journey from his post-colonial Sudanese village to England is an experience to Heart of Light, unlike Kurtz's journey to the Heart of Darkness in Congo. The unknown narrator in the novel parallels Said's journey north and back both across and beyond Sudan. Mustafa, as a victim of colonialism, begins his sexual crusade as a tool of oppression against Britain. 
In England, he becomes a sexual predator, seducing women because of the issues that he has had with colonization. Now he attempts to enact power over those women, essentially to colonize England through the women. According to Homi Baba, it is called colonial consciousness, which led Mustafa to show his resistance to the colonial rule he experienced. Three of these women are driven to suicide and he eventually murders his wife, Jean Morris. Mustafa's seductions and abandonment of white women is motivated solely by a desire for revenge. Mustafa, a victim of colonialism and a product of Western culture in terms of education, takes the opportunity to reprimand his former colonial rulers who once paraded themselves as superior in Sudan. So, he feels that he is in position of power to conquer the West by practicing his power over Western women. Symbolically, Mustafa's campaign is to reverse the history of modern European colonialism to throw colonialism back to the colonizers. As Nuha Hamad puts it rather concisely, the European woman has to pay for the humiliation her countrymen have caused to the people they colonized. Said as an exploiter like Kurds in Heart of Darkness, Taib Salis extrapolates Said's experience as a historical reminder of a victim of colonization. The novel portrays post-colonial conception of resistance, violence and liberation but in a different form. And thank you.